These electric motors are stupid. They're like three times the power of a gas motor. They don't vibrate, they don't make any noise. You don't need a gearbox, they've got forward reverse. <laughs> They're better in every way pretty much, except luckily the batteries don't last very long. Thankfully for that reason, gas motors will never be replaced. But what if you could make a gas motor with similar properties? No motor's perfect, but this is another way you could do it. This is what I'm calling the infinity stroke motor because the pistons never stop. They just go round and round continuously. Suck from the carburetor, compress, Bang, explode, compress again out the exhaust and suction again for the carburetor. And this happens four times every stroke. So this will fire the same amount as a V8. And it should be pretty well balanced because the mass is only going round and round. But this took me months to get to this design. I'll show you how I started off. In this video from Driving for Answers, he describes a rotary vane engine which would be super powerful, but it has an issue with sealing. So pistons could be the answer to this. And Tegza also made his version of this engine too, which worked great off air. But for a gas motor, you need to be perfectly sealed. So this is my idea. Spark plug ignites the charge. As it's coming around here, it's expanding, expanding, expanding. Exhaust. Then the next charge comes in here, compression, 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 and boom, explosion, round it goes again, and this will be happening, this one's got seven pistons, so seven times the revolution, but there is a problem with this one, is there is nothing to blow out the old charge, and there is nothing to push in the new charge. So what would happen is you would need to run a blower with this setup. So you could run the blower through here, and it would cross over, blow the exhaust charge out, and then full this charge, and you could have an injector further up here. Let's look at a Wankel or a rotary engine, and see how they've got theirs sealed using a complicated array of seals, which works well, and these engines get a lot more RPM than a piston engine does, but these actually still vibrate quite a bit. They usually have two rotors to bounce themselves out. So the key is you need an ellipse shape, so you've got two lots of expansion contraction to push the exhaust out and force in the next fuel air mixture. So then I come up with this idea. So it will spark up the top there, expand, expand, boom, push the exhaust out. And then over here it can suck in the next lot of charge and repeat the cycle. And this would be happening four times per revolution. There could be a lot of issues, so these have to go around a corner, and you could imagine there will be sealing problems with this. So I started trying to design around this, which let me, led me down a few rabbit holes. So the next model, it's got little con rods that can flex as I spin it. The end of the rods run in this ellipse shaped track, and away it goes. So this is the key. The next problem is, how do I seal this off? PCBWay, the sponsor of this video, is going to pay a big part in getting this motor to run. Another little project I've got going on is a long tail surfboard. I've made one of these before that had a gas motor, but I'm going to make an electric one so I can go on the surf with it and it can go underwater and be sealed off. So this is the part here that I'm going to get them to make for me. Once you've designed your part, you click export and save it as a step file then it's ready to send to PCBWay's website. I click on 3D printing and then I choose the file I want to get made. Then it's just a matter of going through and selecting your materials and what sort of finish you want and there's other options as well and you can also leave a note. I left a note saying that this has to bolt to the other part. Once you've finished everything, all you have to do is wait. Like that. And the 3D printed nylon. Nice tight fit. This is going to be my battery cage. 
This will be cut down a lot shorter though. So this has been my plan here. This is just a single action, one that I was going to run on air. And I've got magnets inside here. And magnets inside the piston. And as you move it, it moves the pistons around with it. But it doesn't really work very well. And imagine firing it, it's just going to blow the piston straight past the magnet. You could get really powerful magnets and try and make this work, but I don't like my chances. That model really put me off using magnets for the drive. So let's draw something else. Let's get motivated. So this complicated little one has its own cylinders that move in and out for each piston. And they run around this track here. But getting it to spark and getting the fuel and air in and the exhaust on this thing would be an absolute nightmare. On to, this is my final design. This is the one that will work. So the pistons are connected to the con rods here and it will roll around, centrifugal force will hold these out and the pistons are moving backwards and forwards inside there I need to take it apart to show you guys as they roll around the track these rollers slide the pistons back and forth into position and this will just need a seal around the perimeter here and another one inside and then normal piston ring seals and it will seal against this face here so I think that will be able to seal. It's a little bit hard sealing on this edge here. So how this one works is there's a bolt connected through the slot here to the piston. This drive system would work great, but the only problem is the seal. It's kind of did my head in how you'd get it to seal. It is possible, but I thought I'd go back to the magnet idea. Another improvement I made is I realized I could put the ellipse shape on the inside instead of the outside of the cylinder, so it takes up less room. Something else that's good about it is I can move the ellipse around to change port timing and change the shapes of it as well. So I could probably get away with 3D printing this part as it doesn't really see any heat. This is one of my final concept models. There's no air cooling or anything like that on it yet. I just want to try and get it to go first, but I'll just show you one more thing. Since there's very little oscillation in this design, it should be able to do a lot of RPM, which will also give the pistons a lot of centrifugal force pushing on the sidewalls. So I'm going to put some little rollers on the outsides of them. Okay, it's finally time to start making this thing for real. So now I'm drawing it up in an easier way to machine and I can save it each time and then send it off to check it on the PCBWay website and see how much it costs each time. I need to research all these different aluminiums to see which one will be best for this purpose. This is only going to be a test model though so it's not going to run forever. And if I can keep the price down and this thing works, other people will be able to make this as well off these models. So that'd be pretty cool. I tried to animate this on the computer but it was very difficult so you just have to guess how this works but I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the spark plug so leave in the comments where you think I should put it you know one two three four five six seven and I'm wondering if I should almost have two spark plugs like a rotary to do a secondary burn because it's a traveling expansion chamber just like on a rotary what I'm going to do first off is just run this thing on two stroke oil in the future I'll be able to have like an oil injector that puts oil in between the piston rings maybe but worry about that later first step is to get it to run so I can either try this one or the other one where the two halves spin so either way I've got a way of making it work so just by watching this video you're making this happen 
If you want to help a little bit more, I set up a give a little page, so you can give a dollar or whatever, and uh, I can buy some stuff to make this happen real quick. Carburetors, coils, there's unlimited stuff I need to get. So thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you in the next one.